Just about to kick off the second interview, the final interview for this evening. It's uh, my pleasure to welcome over uh, to the sponsor suite this evening, Zach Kovicka. Did I get that right? No, you got that right, Okay. Can, can you, for the benefit of everybody, Zach, please pronounce your surname in your own voice? Kavita. 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 And then, Zach, where, where does the, the name have its origins, um, your family name? Um, well, my mum's from Italy, but my dad's from Poland. So, my great granddad came over from Poland, but um, obviously he's passed away now, so going down a family tree. Ever seen Poland yourself? No, nah, never been there. Italy? Nope. Bristol? Bristol. Yeah. That's the furthest I have been. Yeah. 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 You, um, you actually, you do live Bristol way, don't you? Yeah. Well, yeah. Gloucester, yeah. Gloucester, yeah. that's it. Yeah, just the accent <laughs> said Bristol to me. Sorry about that. Um, where did you play previously? Where did your football sort of started for yourself, sir? Um, I, I was at Cheltenham from the age of 10. Um, I got offered a two-year pro. Um, and then a new manager came in. I got released, obviously, as, as people do. Um, I signed for Gloucester for two years and then came here. How did that come about, moving here? Uh, um, I weren't playing at Gloucester. and. Um, Andy rang up and asked if I was available, and um, it just came from there. So Andy was interested in me, I guess. Uh, well, the gaffer Andy had said in the press that he monitored you for. I think he tried to sign you last season. Yeah, like, um, before I signed for Gloucester, I came on like a little trial thing, and then it didn't work out, and I signed for Gloucester instead. So. Mm, okay, I guess that was closer to home as yeah, well. Yeah, it was easy. Yeah, it was an easy situation for me. The, the position I was in, and obviously work and everything. So. Uh, you were um, you were out on loan at Salisbury, I think, at the time when Gaffer came calling. Yeah, yeah. Going well there at Salisbury, wasn't it? Yeah, it was decent. I only I only played five games there, um, and I got recalled early, obviously because of this came up. But yeah, yeah, I was doing okay there, and I re I was really enjoying it. Goals? Yeah, I got five and five. So <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah. Um. So it's been a little bit. You've been a bit in and out of the side. Um. How do you feel you've settled in? I mean, obviously you haven't started every game and, and that, but as a group, and how do you feel you've integrated and settled in at the lab? I, I think I got involved like straight away, and I think that it's good to like try and get straight in with the lads and not like shy away from it. But um, they're a good bunch of lads. Um, they're better than what I have been with before. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm settling okay. I guess football's all about getting the right group of of guys together and, and having that chemistry in the team. Um, you, you've obviously intimated that, that that group is good and that the atmosphere is good. Um, we've been on a difficult run, obviously. Um, how can you see things progressing for the, for the rest of the season? Well, there's, there's massive potential in the changing room, so hopefully we can kick start off and it, we show that home game against Nuneaton what we really can do and we need to take that into home and away games now and really kick on and push for promotion. Absolutely. Um, in, in football as a whole, uh, Zach, what would be your your moment so far? I mean, you've had a short career, you're a young lad, but um, what's your proudest moment be? Probably coming on at West Ham. Chapman played West Ham in the Cup and I got the last 15 minutes, so probably that. Was that at Cheltenham or West Ham? Uh, at Tim Park. Wow. Yeah, so. That's probably and my best one. You can actually say you're one of the last players to have done that. Yeah. Of course, they're not there anymore. It's gone now, yeah. So, yeah, it's really good. Wonderful. Um, what do you do outside of football? Um, I'm a plasterer. I work at 8 till 5 every day, so... Well, don't tell my boss, but I go off earlier than that. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, um, obviously, when, when I got released from Chatham, I had to find a job because um, Gloucester is part-time, so... Um, my old coach who used to coach me at Cheltenham, he's got his own plastering business, so he, he got me on board there and, and I started labouring there and then it's gradually grown on from there. Sounds like really hard physical work. It is, especially with football as well on top of it. It, it, get, it does get to you. So. 
Do you find it a, a struggle, honestly? You know, no, you're no. committing to training and matches and not a struggle. Like it. It's harder than what it was at Gloucester, obviously, with the travelling and everything. Mm. But I, I get on with it, and you have to do what you got to do, don't you? Know, so. Have to end the legend. Yeah, exactly that. Um, a little bit more light-hearted now. Um, who would you say out of the the group that we've currently got um, would be the best trainer? No doubt. No doubt about it. Burns it. I had a feeling you would say that. He <laughs> don't train. He, he plays every training match like a match. He, there's no training for Burns it. Okay. And who would be the messiest player in the changing room? Messy. Yeah, they're all. They're, they're oh, no one. No one's clean in football, are they? Everyone's messy. <laughs> I have to clean them after every day. <laughs> what would be your uh, your guilty pleasure? Uh, PlayStation. Oh. <laughs> Three or four. A man of my heart. Four. <laughs> so, uh, latest games. What, what would you play? Um, I always play FIFA. Obviously, when it comes out, everyone's on FIFA, and then Call of Duty comes out, and then my mum don't see me anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've currently got apologies to World War II, and yeah. uh, that, that's my guilty pleasure. So, uh, my partner says she's a PlayStation widow. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, what are you, back to football. We'll have a little chat about Connor. Um, <laughs> um, but realistically, um, uh, as honest as you can be, uh, not just a cliche answer, what would be your realistic aims for the rest of the season, Zach? Uh, personally, um to get between five and ten goals now as I've joined late, um, to set goals up and then as a team I, I guess we're pushing for promotion, we, that, that's all we can do now. I think the, to win the league is probably gone but if we can get in the playoffs and get promoted that way then that would be ideal. Okay, that's, that's fair enough, yeah. Um, you've been a little bit unlucky with, well, you just sort of need one to go in, really, don't you? Yeah, I've had two good chances. One's been given an old goal and Drew nicked the other one, so... <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I will get my own one soon, but... Well, if I can correct you, the one at Bradford, uh, to be fair, I think the keeper probably would have saved that. That was going in. That was going in. He wasn't. And the other one, I believe, was actually destined for the corner flag. <laughs> the, top <laughs> the top corner is going, not the corner <laughs> We'll give you the benefit of that, uh, but uh, keep trying, obviously, and yeah. um, keep putting the work rate in that you've done so far. Yeah. You're very welcome at, at Townwood FC. Yeah. I'd like to thank Zach for his time this evening. Thank you Cheers. very much, Zach. Thank you.